Hello and welcome to Tech Deals, gaming performance review time. This is Battlefield 4 being played on this laptop. This is an ASUS 15.6 inch Full HD laptop. I have previously reviewed this computer and that will be in the video description below. This is a $530 laptop, great Intel i5 processor. It's the middle of the road chip from Intel, two cores, four threads, uh, eight gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes solid state drive, and Intel HD 520 6th generation graphics chip. It is an integrated graphics chip built into the Skylake processor. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but for $530, it's a great machine. If that's the price point you're looking for on a laptop, you really can't go wrong with this. In terms of Windows performance, amazing. Battlefield 4 performance, let's take a look. Okay, I'll give you the summary. If you don't want to watch this whole video, let me just help you out here. It is playable if you dial it all down far enough in terms of graphic detail settings. At the standard settings, it's pretty rough. I'm going to show you three different graphic settings. The first one you're looking at right here is automatic. In fact, I'll go ahead and pull up options so you can see it. Video. I have got graphics quality set to auto, meaning the game picked the graphic settings. This is the default what it comes up to by itself. In addition, we're running full screen, VSync is on, and resolution scale is at 100%. Resolution scale is on the far side down at the bottom. That changes the internal render resolution, which is different from your screen resolution. This right here is running at 1080p. And no, the fact that it's on both screens does not slow it down because it's simply mirrored across them. I have an HDMI splitter box splitting it between the monitors. Now, this is all the default graphic settings. We're going to run across this uh, field here. If you look, you'll see a frame rate counter up here in the corner, and it currently says 23 frames per second. And 24, I'll look up, 25, I'll run forward. This just gives you an idea of what to expect, 22 frames a second. Is it playable? Yeah, yes, I wouldn't. It's, um, when you press the keys, there's too much lag in everything that you do. It just... There's just too much lag in what you do. It, it works. But... It would not be my first choice. Pardon me for not talking, I'm busy trying to shoot that guy and not die. Did I get him? I did get him. Oh. I am not the best Battlefield, Battlefield 4 player in the world. Now, this is averaging between 20 and 25 frames a second. You can play it. It's reasonably good looking. I think the performance is subpar. So now we're going to change it. I'm going to show you option number two. We're going to go into options. I'm going to go to video. I'm going to change graphics quality to low, but I'm going to leave the resolution scale at 100%. Back. Yes, I want to save this setting. Back. Now, watch the frame rate counter. Now we're at 26, 25. It's smoother. Uh, when I press keys, things happen just a little bit faster. Oh, there we go. Let me shoot that guy there. Got him, and shoot him. It is easier to control. The frame rate doesn't appear to be a lot faster, and this is the problem with just looking at frame rates alone. This is why I don't want to just show a chart and say, well, it got this many frames per second, because that doesn't tell you how playable the game is. Some games are playable at different frame rates than others. The frame rate has not apparently improved much, but let me tell you, this is more controllable. It feels more controllable. I push the buttons and the game responds quicker. To be honest, that's just as important to me as the absolute frame rate because it means that when I want to move left or move right or move forward, it is more controllable. So the difference between medium and low, to me, is worth the, the, the sacrifice in graphic quality. It still looks decent. 
if you look closely, you'll see a few changes. Now, I'm going to make one more change. This is choice number three. I'm going to go into Options, Video. I'm going to change the resolution scale all the way down to 50%. So this is going to internally render the game at 720p instead of 1080p. It cuts the resolution in half to 1 million pixels instead of 2, which is what Full HD is. 50% back. Now the quality will take a big dive here. Depending on how much of that you can see here will depend on what monitor you're watching this video on. If you're watching it on a tablet or a phone or a small inexpensive monitor, you may not see that much difference. I'm shooting this video in 4K. This is a 32 inch 1080p monitor. So if you are watching this on a nice monitor, you should see a big difference right now. Everything is much blockier, but look at the frame counter. We are at 54 frames per second, 55, Jump over, that's not protectable terrain. I'll shoot him, 54, 55, it's holding over 50 frames a second. I mean, what a difference. It is absolutely twice as smooth, aiming, looking is much much, much easier. But you give up a lot to get there. You give up half your resolution at low detail. There we go. So you get the point. Is Battlefield 4 playable on this laptop? Yes, with an asterisk next to it. At standard medium detail at 1080p, not really. I mean, yes, it is playable, but it's not very controllable. If you set the detail to low, the frame rate doesn't appear to change that much. We went from about 20 to about 25 frames per second. That doesn't seem like a big change. But the change that you can't see from just a frame counter is that when I press the W key to move forward, the game is more responsive. It feels like it responds to my commands quicker at low detail than medium. I highly recommend you run it at low and not medium if you decide to buy this laptop. Now, when you set the render resolution to 50%, boy, now it feels fast and fluid. We were almost 60 frames a second. Moving around, aiming, everything was very fluid. But it's kind of ugly. Now, that's a personal choice. If you want to buy a $500 laptop such as this and you want to play Battlefield 4, you're going to have to make some compromises because there's not a dedicated graphics card. But wait, you say, you want to be able to play with the graphics turned up and you want a nice laptop. Okay, you can do that, but you got to spend more. The laptop I would recommend, and I do have one to review. I haven't reviewed it yet, but I will. I will link to it in the description below. It's a Dell 15-inch laptop. It's $300 more than this, almost. It's $800 instead of $530. But it comes with a dedicated NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960M graphics card. Makes a world of difference in terms of being able to play games like this. It's a true gaming machine. In addition, it has a true quad-core processor, four cores instead of the two cores in here. They both have Intel i5 chips, but that one has got four cores, this one has two. But it's $300 more. Is it worth it? That's a personal choice. But um, I will be doing a follow-up review of that machine, and I'll be doing these same games as well, and so you'll be able to see them there. But if you're willing to accept the compromises, will this play it? Absolutely. You just have to be willing to set the detail down. Did you like this video? You know what to do. Did you not? That's okay. Remember to subscribe to my channel below the video and off to the side is a big red subscribe button if you're not already and if you are, thank you very much. Questions, comments, thoughts, feedback, suggestions, that's what the section below the video is for where you can type in all of your random thoughts and ideas. Please give me feedback. It is certainly appreciated and useful. I appreciate you watching this video and I will see you next time.